I want you to understand the difference between a risk and a gamble. This, what we do here, this is calculated, okay? We weigh the odds, we make a choice. You see that man right there? Do you remember him? You gotta block out everything and be in the moment. Not the past, not the future, right now. You have control of this. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. Don't let this man control you. Don't let him control you. You got to get real dogs. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. Hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft times create soft men. Soft men create hard times. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Failure has been achieved, thank God. Now, the only place to go from failure is to win. You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far. It's too scary. But you know something? We got news for you. That's where winning is. It always has been. Nothing's changed. Come on, Rock, come on. What's the matter with you? Ma. Ma. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Les Browns, a motivational speaker, he made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your... We humans have two great problems. The first is knowing when to begin. The second is knowing when to stop. Things rarely change for the better in your life unless you change them. No amount of anxiety makes any difference to anything that is going to happen. Alan Watts Rest. Don't care. Give back. Even if it's donating your tag sale leftovers or handing a dollar bill over to someone less fortunate. Do it. It'll make you feel good. Anything that's happened to you has happened for a reason. Wayne Dyer The true joy of a man is to do that which properly belongs unto a man. That which is most proper unto a man is, first, to be kindly affected towards them that are of the same kind and nature as he is himself, to contemn all sensual motions and appetites, to discern rightly all plausible fancies and imaginations, to contemplate the nature of the universe, both it and things that are done in it, in which kind of contemplation Three several relations are to be observed. The first, to the apparent secondary cause. The second, to the first original cause. God, from whom originally proceeds whatsoever doth happen in the world. The third and last, to them that we live and converse with. What use may be made of it to their use and benefit. Some of you are not successful, not because you can't do this business. Number one, you're listening to people who have no business in your ears. Stop. It works. It works. High school dropout. America. It works if you work it. You can have and be and do whatever you want. I told you. I got a coach. I, I, I had to pay to learn how to listen. Okay, you missed that one. That's a bonus. No, you missed that. I had to get a coach to teach me to stop going this way and stop going this way and follow what I'm told. Okay, I'm going to say it one more time. I had to get... How many of you, honestly, you don't have a coach? Raise your hand. Be honest. You don't have a coach. Be honest. Raise your hand. You don't have a coach. You need a coach to teach you how to get people out your ear. You need a coach to teach you how to go even when you don't feel like going. 
You need a coach to make you wake up and think about your family. You need a coach to help you get, please listen to me. Nothing is impossible. That's a mindset. Write this down. I need to do something serious about my limiting beliefs. I want you to take this word out of your vocabulary. I shouldn't even say it, but some of you have it, so I have to say it. Write it down in your phone, please. I need you to replace fear with faith. No more fear. Jim Rohn said, all of us, we got the same ending. We're going to die. So if you know you're going to die, why are you playing it safe? Like if you know you're going to die, why are you listening to other people tell you about your life? If you're going to die, why don't you live your own life? Man, that's what I loved about my grandma. She drove until she was 89 years old. She died in her own home. She didn't die nowhere else. My grandma lived her life on her terms. My grandma got her hair done every two weeks. She still was getting her hair done. She was still going and getting massage. She was still going and getting manicure and pedicure. If you don't value your time, neither will others. Anyone you love can die anytime. Cherish them. Believe you can and you're halfway there. Theodore Roosevelt. We must never stop dreaming. Dreams provide nourishment for the soul, just as a meal does for the body. To get married means to have your rights and double your responsibilities. When another person makes you suffer, it is because he suffers deeply within himself and his suffering is spilling over. He does not need punishment. He needs help. That's the message he is sending. Thich Nhat Hanh. If in this kind of life thy body be able to hold out, it is a shame that thy soul should faint first, and give over, take heed, lest of a philosopher thou become a mere Caesar in time, and receive a new tincture from the court. For it may happen if thou dost not take heed. Keep thyself therefore truly simple, good, sincere, grave, free from all ostentation, a lover of that which is just, religious, kind, tender-hearted, strong and vigorous to undergo anything that becomes thee. Endeavor to continue such, as philosophy, hadst thou wholly and constantly applied thyself unto it, would have made and secured thee. Worship the gods, procure the welfare of men. This life is short. Charitable actions and a holy disposition is the only fruit of this earthly life. conversation with someone with something that says you're in heaven this is what you should have been on earth and are you really in heaven now or are you in hell a lot of us speak in hollow words i used to speak in hollow words i don't do it anymore everything that comes out of my mouth has substance it's real and we all have these feelings in our bodies in our minds in our souls i act on mine a lot of us who are afraid of something we allow our minds to choose the path of least resistance, so we go a different route. And I'm afraid of something that's telling me you must do this that. thing. You must do that. Yeah. You have to go that way. And most of us don't understand that mentality. We go left and we wonder why we haven't fulfilled something in our lives. You've just gone through a breakup and it's the worst thing you've ever been through because you haven't had the time and the experience yet to develop worse. And to turn around and look at that in relation to the realities of a long life well lived. And one day you're going to try and look back and you're going to say, that really wasn't such a disaster. And in fact, that was probably the best thing ever happened to me. I get it. The pain is unbearable. You keep playing it back in your head. The situation is on repeat over and over and over. You keep trying to see where you went wrong. You feel like you can't take the pain anymore. What you gonna do? Are you gonna prove them right? 
or are you going to prove them wrong?